Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with another break of a three box, another three box break of Fanatics Under Wraps. It's a random player break. And note that there's only one spot that'll get any and all multi-signed baseballs. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Nice, thanks Joe Pizzle. I've been fact-checked as, as, as correct on the what team has never had pinstripes in their official home and away jerseys in all their history. Nice. Yes. Give myself the bell right there. All right, there we go. So that's multiplied by nine. So it's going to be 107 items on each list. You can put your thinking caps on, ladies and gentlemen. We'll hit you with the Who Am I game after we run the randomizer and the trade window. Two and a five, seven times for names and players. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yeah, so take that bit of trivia. Go impress your friends. Win a bar bet or something like that. Win a beer off your friends. Two and a five, seven times for players. Seventh and final time. All right, so as always, I'm just going to show you the list as is. And then I'll alphabetize by your first names. And then we'll group all of your players together so you can see them all all grouped together. There's Nancy with the any and all multi-signed baseball spot. So good luck with that, Nancy. Let's alphabetize by your first names. All right, so Dan, there are your players right there. Nancy's group of players right there. Gamsby, there are your players. Sal, your group. Steve H, your collection of players. And this maybe last but not least, Tristan. I don't think there's anyone after Tristan. Now we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. Then we'll have the break. Stick around. BRB. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. No deals are done, so let's pop open the first baseball. And I'll give you some uh, relatively quick and easy clues, but let's see who can, who can uh, figure this out the quickest. I won an MVP. Oh, 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 oh. I see. <laughs> I see. All right, who am I? I've got a lifetime 241 batting average, 134 home runs, and 377 runs batted in since 2014. But I'm a two time World Series champion a one-time World Series MVP, an AL home run leader, probably five years into my career, AL home run leader, even though I only have 134 home runs since 2014, and, and hit a home run in my first major league at bat in 2014. 6'4", 215, I think started at, did he start as an infielder? No, he's an outfielder. I think he's always been an outfielder. An outfielder. 31 years old right now. Who am I? I mean, I guess he just shows up. 
just when it when it counts. I looked. I looked at the MVP inscription. I was like, "What? You're not an MVP." Oh, I was like, "Oh, right. You're a but you're a World Series MVP." No, not uh, not Hosmer, not Kendrick. Those are both infielders. I want to say this guy's an outfielder. Played for the Cubs from 2014 to 2016. This is another Rex player here. Played for the Royals, Gate Gelo's team from 2017 to 2021. That's where he had, was an AL home run leader in 2019 with the Royals. Play with the Braves in 2021. That's where he got his World Series MVP. And then is with the Marlins since last season. Yep. Gilo's got it. Jorge Soler. Hitting you with that World Series MVP inscription on the World Series ball. Got all the stickers right there as well. All right, Soler Power. Yeah, Jorge Soler, all, all over green energy. All right, and that is Steve H. With Soler Power. He led the league in home runs in 2019. That was a that was a full season right here. He hit forty eight home runs. Wow. Forty eight home runs. Is there PED testing there? Oh, but man, Rex. There was a, the whole previous break was for you, but you weren't around. I don't know how do I make this guy harder. <laughs> this is going to be pretty difficult. Hmm. Well, if. If so, Rex, you were, you did not, I don't know, you weren't, you didn't make a single comment in the previous, the previous one. All right, who am I? I am a retired right-handed pitcher. My win-loss record is 82 and 60 with a 221 ERA, 1,173 strikeouts, and a 1.00 whip. Played for one team my entire career. And a Hall of Famer. Who am I? If you can get it by just those stats. Oh. I was going to say that's pretty good, Kevin. What? Wait, how'd you, how'd you get that? Were those stats obvious enough? I didn't even give you any, like, save stats. What gave it away? Or was it were, were those stats enough though? Was that was it that obvious? And my face gave it away? Damn. Yeah, I mean it's hard to hide bury these guys' stats because once I say six hundred and fifty-two saves, thirteen time all-star, five time World Series champion, a World Series MVP. Five-time AL, yeah, the, hard to give clues, right? Five-time AL Rollades Relief Man of the Year. T 2019 Hall of Famer, 100% first ballot. Like, that gets kind of tough. This guy is, is pretty good.
Mariano Rivera. There's all the stickers right there. And that's for Nancy. And I, is that Last Spot Mojo, Nance? It is, with one of her Last Spot Mojo spots. It's a very nice one. Right, with those stats, right, with those numbers, Dan's right. And that's, it wasn't going to be a starter. And Kevin's right, yeah, it, was, it had to be either Mariano or like Otani. <laughs> But beautiful autograph there, Nancy. Thanks for getting in. All right. All right. Final one of the break. I think we've had this guy in a recent break all right who am i i'm a classically trained guitarist i play and compose music with influences that include jazz classical pop brazilian and latin i signed with Paul McCartney's publishing company, MPL Communications, and my major label debut, The Journey Within, was released in June 22, 2003. In addition to playing lead and rhythm guitar, I composed seven songs for the album, tracks like La Salsa and Me and Desvelado, Mix My Love of Jazz and Latin Rhythms. My first single was a remix of Just Because featuring David Benoit. Other highlights include my heartfelt tribute to my father, Para Don Berna, and a reworking of a Baden-Powell song, Samba Novo and La Salsa and Me, featuring background vocals from 2003 Grammy Award winner Ruben Blades and salsa legend Gilberto Santa Rosa. Etc, etc, etc. Wow. Also joining me was an all-star uh, ensemble of musicians, including Grammy Award winning banjo player Bella Fleck. Hmm. Wow. Following my baseball career, I studied guitar and composition for a year at, uh, at SUNY Purchase in preparation for my album, Moving Forward, which was released in April 14, 2009, under the Reform Records label. The album features 14 tracks and includes some collaborative tracks with some other artists such as Bruce Springsteen, John Cicada, etc., etc. And I was nominated for a Latin Grammy Award for Moving Forward. In 2010, I participated in the World Rhythms Tour with Abasia, 2011, my book, Rhythms of the Game, The Link Between Musical and Athletic Performance, was co-authored by myself and some others, with a forward by Paul Simon. I was featured on the 2011 cover of Making Music, received my Bachelor of Music from the Manhattan School of Music in 2016. Who am I? Yeah, Oliver's got it. Bernie Williams. I also happen to be a pretty good center fielder and uh, won four World Series with the, with the Yankees. Pretty good ball player, pretty good musician, and a pretty nice baseball going to Bernie Williams. Sal, Sal Robles with Bernie Williams. There you go, Sal. There you go, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us, and I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.